storms. We've already had severe weather this year. In January, we had uh, a couple of outbreaks with even tornadoes around, but this is severe weather preparedness week, and we are getting you ready for the time of year where we have a better chance for some stronger storms. Tonight, meteorologist Andrew Wilson talks to us about the importance of lightning safety. It comes and goes in a flash. Um, it was like a huge bomb. Lightning can strike anywhere. We heard it inside the church, knocked off the electricity. Being hit is rare. 19 people died from lightning strikes in the U.S. last year, according to the National Weather Service. Most people survive but can face serious health issues. You can lower your risk by going inside when you hear thunder, says Ron Holly with the National Lightning Safety Council. Don't ask questions. Simply go to a large substantial building or a full enclosed metal top vehicle. A lightning safe structure is one that has grounded wiring and plumbing, like most homes and buildings in the U.S. Tents and places like sheds, dugouts, and picnic shelters are not safe from lightning strikes. During a storm, you should also stay away from porches or balconies and things that may conduct electricity, like corded electrical devices. You don't want to be t touching the water running in the sink or in the shower or in the bathtub. Those are very good conductors. Trees and lightning are a dangerous combination. Holly says the strike can hit a tree and conduct ground current to a victim. There can also be a side flash where the tree is hit and a portion of the current hits someone near it, or lightning can cause the bark or a limb to explode. It only lasts a few tenths of a second, but during that time it is incredibly strong. 